I'm someone who absolutely loves to study various cultures and histories because I think, number one, it's just so enriching, right? It allows us to learn uh, about people's mindsets and thus empathize with them more. Um, plus, there's lessons to be learned in there that we can apply to ourselves, right? Which is sort of a byproduct of also understanding the commonality we all share in spite of whatever differences there are. Uh, but I, I realized a while ago that I hadn't actually studied my own history, meaning uh, both my parents are Slovakian. And while I spent summers there, you know, it's it's not like I know the entire history of Slovakia um, beyond, you know, just kind of a cursory level. And that's why, you know, I made it a point to uh, buy this book, A History of Slovakia. Uh, and it's it's a really fascinating uh, case study, look at the history of it. Um, obviously, it's not everything that uh, that is there, but um, you know, Slovakia in itself is a very brand new country. Um, but still, it uh, you know, this book lays out kind of how it became a, its own country, right? Um, and where it's where it is today, and things of that nature. And you know, one of the things that I try to do with my art and things like that is to also showcase to the world uh, Slovakian culture, right? I think there's a, a rich history and, you know, we're such a small nation that just kind of letting the world know that like, hey, we're also here too. Um, I think it's important. That's why I think this is a really great book. It's written in English, uh, History of Slovakia, um, and just gives you an insight into a place that many people, quite frankly, especially in America, don't don't know about. So for all those reasons, you know, if you're someone that loves studying culture and history like me, check out the book. And when you do, let me know what you think.